As a tale of espionage, it takes some beating. Christina Skarbek was a Polish agent working for Britain in the Second World War, honored for her skill and her bravery. Well, her biography by Claire Mully, which Angelina Jolie has expressed an interest in, is among the titles being showcased at the world-famous London Book Fair, which itself this year is focusing on works connected to Poland. And I'm pleased to say that Claire Mully and also Jacek Denel, a Polish author breaking through the international market, join us here. Uh, Claire, let's start with you. If Hollywood gets their hands on your book, this will really bring Christina's story to an international global audience. I'm absolutely thrilled about it. And one of the aims of my book was to celebrate this remarkable war heroine. Also to restore the, the view on the effectiveness of female special agents, the women that were in these roles, and also to highlight the fact that this was a Polish-born woman working for Britain, working for the Allies, and to look at the Polish story in the war as well. It's so important and if Angelina can take that to a bigger audience, that'd be fantastic. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, she was described by Churchill as his, his most favourite spy. That's remarkable. That was a story that his daughter played. His daughter was actually going to play her in a film in the 1950s. Sarah Churchill was an actress, but unfortunately that never came to fruition. So hopefully, perhaps we can uh, turn the tables on that now. And are you worried that when the Hollywood juggernaut comes in and takes your book, will you kind of lose access to it? What happens with something like that? Well. Um, is, I have been contracted as a historical consultant, so there will be some controls in place. Of course, she achieved so much, so many different. She worked in three different theatres of the war and uh, had so many adventures, so many stories. They can't probably cover all of it. I do recognise that. But, of course, it's all in the book. So if people take an interest in this, if they learn about Christina and her story, perhaps they can go there afterwards. How wonderful. And you were at the London Book Fair. The focus yes. was on Poland this yes. year. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, absolutely fantastic. I heard a number of Polish authors giving talks. I was able to interview some of them myself. Fabulous to be there and part of it. Um, Claire, that's wonderful. Now, you're a British author writing about a Polish heroine, Jacek Donnell. You're a hugely popular Polish author, but you write about loads and loads of different types of things. One of your stories, one of your novels is about the painter Goya. You're crossing into the international market. How easy or difficult was that? Oh, it is very difficult because uh, it's a process that needs a lot of people helping you with that. And um, it's usually uh, part of it is institutions like Polish Book Institute or Polish Cultural Institute who send writers to festivals and who provide financing for translations either of excerpts or the whole novels. But then uh, it's also people, private people, namely uh, the translators. And it's often uh, a work of love. They just fell in love into, with a book and they do what they can to, uh, to basically show it um, to, uh, to the editing plans of, 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 of publishers. Now, your translator, Antonia Lloyd-Jones, is phenomenal. I've had the pleasure of yes. meeting her, and she was describing how she's working on Lala now. She's translating it from Polish into English. And she, she really cares about that work. Oh, a lot. I mean, she's like a full-scale Polish ambassador of, of Polish literature. And she's amazing. She's very well known for, for her care uh, about the authors and the books. Now, this country has around a million or so Poles. Polish is the second most spoken language, and yet the London Book Fair found that, out, that few people actually read Polish books. What is it that they should be looking out for? What is it that you bring to an audience that's so different? Uh, I don't know if it's that different. Uh, it's just we are a, a provincial culture in a way, so um, it needs time to persuade people that there is something valuable uh, in the lands around Vistula River. And it might ha come with time, I hope it will, uh, because uh, there are certain bonds between uh, Poland and England for a very long time, uh, including times of uh, Skarbek. <laughs> and I think it, it will be a, a, to a benefit uh, of both of our nations, societies. And uh, Jacek, both of you, you and Claire, were at the London Book Fair. How important was it, Claire, for something like this to showcase Polish literature? I think it's fantastic. I mean, they had displays, they had a number of Polish authors who were Nobel Prize winners. Obviously, Joseph Conrad is probably the most famous, but a lot of authors today as well. Um, and it's fantastic not only to see those works coming over in translation, but also works like this one being translated into Poland. So it's a, it's a two-way stream. Oh, fabulous well, to see that. Fabulous to hear from you both. Both. Claire, good luck with, well, fingers crossed, with the book, with the thank film you. venture, I should say. Thank you. Yatek Donnell, thank you so much for coming thank in you. too. Thank you both.